Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So how to start a business, sorry. <laughs> I got this long hair. How to start a business. Don't worry about this, my daughter. I gotta fix it up, I just put it on. But how to start a business and sell anything. So, <laughs> You can sell water to a well online. You can sell hair, nails. My daughter sells hair. You can sell eyelashes. Uh, you can sell clothes. You can sell water. This guy <laughs> in one of my coaching groups goes on Amazon and spends $400 for cases of water per month. And he goes on the street and sells waters and makes $1,500. Crazy. <laughs> so how to start a business selling anything, guys? So first, if you are in my Financially Lit Academy or if you're in my Amazon or if you're in my masterclass, I have vendors um, that you can actually get products from. So if you wanna sell a lip gloss line, you wanna sell, a, um, um, what is it? Uh, a flat iron because there's flat irons to be sold if you want to have a press on nails press on nails is a a real good business man because even people are tired of the acrylic and some people a lot of people are, are allergic to the acrylic also so a press on nail business eyelashes do you know how many people bought eyelashes during quarantine what the fuck you buying eyelashes for <laughs> during quarantine right but people bought eyelashes in quarantine People bought sleepwear, uh, you know, people bought glasses, sunglasses, people, I mean, shoes, you could sell fans, you could sell sheets and bedding and, I mean, guys, you could sell anything. You know, anything that you buy, you can actually sell. Vitamins, teas, whatever you are currently buying, you can actually sell. So, I started my business seven years ago. Years ago, I started an affiliate company only doing digital marketing. Um, and I'm good. I'm like, listen, I don't want to sell anything offline, but I realized that I was tapping. I wasn't tapping into that market. And it's a whole lot of people that's not online. So I started selling physical products. I got into TLC and I started selling physical products, um, you know, with TLC, right? So what happened was I started to go offline and market. I started getting business cards. I started putting up banners. I started handing out flyers. I started putting my cards in, you know, different different businesses. I started doing pop up shops. So I started to build a customer base offline. And I was just selling the tea, right? And then me and my daughter got into selling bracelets, and we're selling bracelets, and that was doing, uh, you know, fine and well. Um, and now I'm still selling these things. I'm still selling the tea. I'm still selling bracelets. I'm still, you know, selling digital, um, you know, products, guys. But you got to know what you want to sell. And you got to stick to it. So if you want to just strictly stick with digital products, then you don't need inventory. But if you want physical products, here's the difference, guys. Inventory, right? If you have a business that requires inventory, you always have to have inventory. I hate to see people selling something and, oh, it's sold out. It's sold out for weeks. How this shit is sold out for weeks? You didn't buy any inventory? You didn't buy enough? People have a launch and they sold out. How many did you buy? 20? 30? If you want to have a real big launch, you should have thousands of, of, of products, right? But nevertheless, guys, you can sell anything, all right? I have vendors, U.S. vendors, Chinese vendors. I actually like the Chinese vendors because it's cheaper, okay? And I can get it right away. See, the Chinese... They straight about their money, right? I have American vendors, you know, some of them I had bad experience with, so I never dealt with them again. Um, so I like the Chinese vendors. Some of the Chinese vendors are in, um, you know, America. But there's so many things, guys, that you can be able to sell. So I am now telling people about the onesies for the plus size, right? Because everybody's selling, I mean, there's some people that's selling onesies and they're not selling it for the big girls right they selling it for the little skinny girls and the 1x and the extra small and the you know in the medium so what about the 2x girls what about the 3x girls what about the 4x girls so i decided to get into selling 
right? Now, can I make six figures or five figures with these? Absolutely, right? But I got to keep inventory, right? So this is, I think, is a 4X right here. Let me see. It's a 4X. No, it's a 3X, actually, but it's very stretchy. So if you like 400 pounds, you could fit all in this. You got a lot of stomach. See, here's the thing. Big girls want to look cute, too. Big girls want to be sexy, too. Why always got to be the skinny chicks? Why everybody on Instagram, you know, with the, with the flat stomachs and big butts? Listen. It's a 3X. It's very stretchy. This thing is stretchy. You probably be able to get into this 3X right here. So if you like four or five hundred pounds, you probably could get into this. Now, if you, you're, you're lower than that, maybe you want to get, you know, maybe a 2X. Because this stuff is really, really stretchy. So what did I do to start selling onesies, right? I started telling people about it, right? I started telling my audience about the onesies, right? I posted some on Facebook. I use the Facebook marketplace. I use my um, list, but I'm developing a Shopify site. Well, I'm not doing it. I hired somebody to develop a Shopify site to put these things on and run the traffic for me, right? Now, I'm not saying, you know, um, you got to do all of that stuff. You can just, you know, promote it to family and friends. But the reality of it is, guys, if you're going to have an inventory business, Please have inventory. If you're going to be selling stuff, guys, please have inventory so that you can sell it. Don't just say, oh, my stuff is sold out. It's sold out. It's sold out. No, 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 guys. If you're going to sell something, then have the inventory, right? I sell vitamins. I got the inventory. I sell tea. I got the inventory. My customer called me like, yo, I need some vitamins. I came oh, well, I'm sold out. No, because now you start to, people don't start to trust you anymore, guys. So, you know, I have vendors, good quality too. This is actually great in quality. Um, you know, if you want to sell to plus size women, um, it's actually great in quality, stretchy um, enough. Um, and it doesn't itch. There's no itchy, itchy material. You can wear it to um, bed. You can wear it to a party. You can wear it going grocery shopping. You can wear it, you know, just to run out the house. You can wear it for gardening. You really could wear this onesie loungewear around the house. You're working from home. You, you know, you got your Zoom on. You want to throw something on that's comfortable. You can wear that, right? So I said, all right, well, you know what? Let me contact one of my vendors. I hit her up. Boom, six days later from China, she sends me the stuff, guys. So if you truly want to start an inventory business, then guess what, guys? Get you samples first. Don't just be trying to be cheap with your business. Invest at least 250 minimum, right, into getting your samples, getting your products. Invest at least 250 into the products, right, so that you can try them, so that you can see them. So for me, um... I got a couple of friends that are big, and I'm going to send them. That's really what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to send them, okay, these, um, I'm going to send them these onesies, right? Here's what I'm going to do. Send my friends that are big, you know, the thick, sexy ladies, and tell them to wear it. Now, I'm just gifting that to them, right, because I want them to take a picture, at least five, ten pictures in it, and, you know, give me a video on it, too, on how the how it feels, right? So you can do the same thing. So you have inventory business, you're selling flat iron, you're selling hair or whatever the case is. I would send samples out to people. You can also send samples out to influencers. Some influencers may not even charge you. You may just hit them up and say, hey, can I send you a product so you can promote it? And they will, right? So starting an inventory business, guys, you need inventory, right? You need spokespeople, right? For your business, right? I hate to see people trying to promote and they're using the same photos from the website. Right, they say they using the same stuff that that website that they got it from is on. It's like create your own, right? You can start anything, guys. You could do flat irons, you could do onesies, you can do hair, you can do waist trainers, you can do do rags, you can sell your own mask. Get some mask and get Black Lives Matter painted on it and sell those out like hotcakes. Sell those for fifteen dollars, free shipping or ten dollars plus shipping. Like you can literally sell anything, guys. So if you're in my master class. Um, I'm actually going to give this vendor away because she has a whole lot of stuff. She got jewelry. Like, she got a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> she got a lot of stuff. But you got to be in my master class um, in my e-commerce. And then um, this, no, in August, I'm going to do a live Q&A in my master class going over Shopify, going over vendors, how to talk to vendors, 
um, you know, how to connect with vendors. Now, the vendors that I use is tested and proven. So many people have used it. I'm not dealing with someone who, oh, I don't know. They only got one star. They not certified and all that. No, mm -mm. I deal with legit people that have been doing this for 25 years, been shipping shit to America <laughs> for 25 years. They've been selling shit forever, right? So, you know, you'll get a vendor, um, you know, with the live class, if you're in my master class already. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Shopify store. Uh, and then of course, I'm going to show you guys different techniques on how you can start marketing. If you want to do a physical product, I have a guy right now who wants to sell oil in, um, what is it? He said the, 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 the beard grooming thing. So he wants to sell that. So now I got the vendor. I got stuff for that. So now I'm going to help him. You know, but at the end of the day, guys, guess what? Start the business. You don't even have to have a website, right? <laughs> Start the business, right? Start the business. People all don't have a website. You know, you can get a free website. <laughs> you go to Wix.com and get a free website. You go to BigCartel.com and get a free website. You don't need... <laughs> a website, right? To start, right? You can buy a product, post it on Facebook, post it on Facebook marketplace, post it on Instagram, send it to a couple of influencers, you know, but eventually because a website makes you look legit, a website makes you look official. So eventually you do want to get a website, sis, right? So if you're going to start the business, right? Make sure that you try the product yourself, see what the product is like, uh, and this is why a lot of people fail in drop shipping because they don't even know what the fuck they sell. They don't even know what their customers are getting, right? And then when their customer do a chargeback, they don't know. They don't you even know what you got. You don't even know what your customer got. So how in the hell are you going to fight your customer? And you don't know what the hell your customer got, right? So I like this onesie because like I said, there's not a lot of girls or women catering to the big girls, right? So everybody's skinny, everybody extra, extra small or, you know, a, a medium or large, you know, nobody's doing the three X's. You know, they got up to two X, some stuff, um, but nobody's doing the three X to five X. Five X, I mean, you could be 400 pounds, you know, and, and, and do a five X, you know, you could be, and that's why I said, I have the vendor and she also can customize. I can put my label in these onesies, I can get, you know, just like a, a, a label, Tanisha Marie clothing, you know what I'm saying? Or I can get, you know, uh, um, you know, agile clothing or whatever inside of it. And now I'm selling this and the brand is agile clothing, you know? So you can do anything, guys, lip gloss, <coughs> this little girl, my daughter buys lip gloss from, she literally makes her own. She uses ingredients and makes it up and she gets the tubes and she's inserting the thing in there, put them in and then package them up. A little girl, a little girl's like 18 years old, right? She decided to have her own lip gloss and I'm sure she's making at least five figures because she got a lot of followers on Instagram and she's constantly showing the how she's making orders, right? So guys, see 18 year olds, they don't want a job. They don't want to go to college. So it's either sell something or die, period guys, period. So if you want my free drop shipping course, or how you can sell anything, go to workwithtanisha.com and you'll get a password where you'll be able to log in and go through the whole entire course. Password where you get <laughs> the whole entire free drop shipping course on how to sell anything, where to go, how to get the packaging, how to ship out, all these different things for free. Okay? On how to start a business, <laughs> a drop shipping business and sell anything online guys the time is now you got to make your next move your best move and make sure you shop with my daughter follow her on instagram at shop with harmony um and she's selling bracelets and she's selling hair and she sells lashes um as of right now so i'll see you guys in class